Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to 60 Seconds and that is a Breaking Bad reference right there, Pete's on the roof. Anyway, this is a game where you have to, you have 60 seconds to grab as much supplies as you can and get into your fallout shelter before the, the fire rains down from the sky and destroys everything and you have to basically survive with your family. Uh, it looks pretty good. Oh, there was a UFO. Looks pretty good, so let's check it out. Uh, that's the, that's the tutorial. I already did that. So let's just, um, let's just do this. The bomb one. Fat man, we can play on normal. I think we'll be alright. Um, so yeah, let's, let's begin the adventure. Alright, so we gotta collect as much shit as we can in, in, in 60 seconds. So that's not a lot of time, so we gotta go! Let me, come on, let me, let me grab it. Oh shit. Why isn't it let me grab? Okay, finally. <sighs> it was fucking me over for a second. Alright, get the gun. Get that gun. Oh no, she took up two, or three. Alright. We need food and water. There's some water. We should probably get, we should probably get that radio and Timmy here. Can we grab him? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Alright, go, go, go. Alright, where's my wife? Oh, there's a lot of supplies in here. Oh, there's a lot of soup right there, too. Grab that soup. Come on. Okay, we gotta run. Alright, now we need some water. There's some water. Oh, what did I grab? Okay. There's some more soup. I think we have enough soup, though. For now. Alright, where's the wife? We gotta get her. There she is. Oh, no, I can't. <gasps> okay, go, go, go. Can I grab this? Okay, I grabbed the health pick. Oh, God, go. Ah! Go! Get in there! I think we're good. Okay. Whew. We made it. I think we did pretty good. I mean, we grabbed a, a sizable amount of food and water, and we got all the family members, I think. Unless I had three kids. Oh, God, did I? I don't think so. Alright, day one. Yep, we're all here. Okay. What's going on here? Alright, there's a health pack. And... All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Time to ration supplies. Okay. Let's eat. What's... I mean... I'm not gonna eat. I don't think the, the, the father can, can hold out for a while. But I think everybody should get some water also. At least. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. One minute it was all fine, and the next we're at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. Alright, I think we're good. Day two. I already have a I already have a five o'clock shadow. Can I click on this? First aid kit. Gas mask. I don't think I need that right now. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not going to say it out loud. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. Alright, so nothing happened. Alright, I'll let him eat. And I'll let the kids drink some water. That's about it for right now. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Said, er, said, Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Mary Jane is excellent. Timmy can do it. Should we start preparing for an expedition for tomorrow? Yes, we should. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't say there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Alright, so I guess tomorrow we're going out into the world. We'll probably get... We might get sick, but I have a health pack, so... Can I click on this? 
bullets, soup. I've, I've thought I clicked it on the gun, but maybe I'm wrong. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy not, might not look like it, but he is a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far, and Ted says, Ted says there's no need to worry about him because he's okay. Time to ration. Okay. Let's all eat something. And he can drink. And uh, that should be good. Oh, she can drink too. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast, maybe something is still alive. Let's find out. Um, let's take Dad and Timmy, and these guys can just uh, sit around here and try not to eat too much food. Oh, we can only send one outside? Oh, shit. Okay, let's send Dad. He's the strong one, right? Day four. Oh uh, yeah, he's gone. Okay. Um, what's he looking at? Everybody looks kind of bored. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not going to say it out loud. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Life is hard for us all right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted left for the surface. We'll hope he be, we hope he'll be back soon. Uh, hopefully he brings brings something good. All right, everybody gets to drink. You don't get to eat because you're kind of chubby. You should eat because you're the man right now. And that's it. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. What's the health pack going to do? I'm not going to do anything right now. Okay. I'm saving that for when he comes back and he's probably going to be sick. So, ooh, she's not looking too good. Nobody's looking too good. They look a little skinny. Okay, I'll, I'll feed them all today. Mary Jane is really tired. Timmy's really tired. Okay, they're all tired. All right, everybody eats. Everybody drinks. It's okay. Everything would be fine if it wasn't for Dolores. She doesn't seem well. She used to be so energetic and happy. Now she just sits there and sulks. Should we do something about it? I don't have anything to do about it, so... Uh-oh. Hope, hope nothing happens. Hey, he's drawing some. Oh, when's he gonna be back? I only have so much food. Times are hard and there is little we can do to keep everybody's morale up. Let's save our energy for later. There, in there isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy is rested and Dolores is fine as well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Alright, so they seem to be doing pretty good. Let's make sure she eats and drinks, but the rest can be. They're, they're fine. They seem to be fine. After all the days we've spent down here, we are not exactly clean. We smell bad, like really bad. It doesn't bother us until we noticed it, and now we are about to get sick. So why not take a shower? We don't have soap, but there are other alternatives to consider. Bullets. Let's see what happens there. I don't know what that means. You can just put that on so you don't smell it, or... <laughs> oh, she's the only one that's doing bad right now. Seems to be anyway. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If we can survive just a little bit longer, dirty ears shouldn't be much of a problem. Just to be sure, dibs on the gas mask. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today and no trouble dared to cross her path. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores has rested. So everybody seems to be doing pretty good so far. Um. Um. All right, you can get some water and some food, but that's that's it. Everybody else is doing still doing pretty good. We can keep sitting on our backsides here, here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. We would have thought that the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood. We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Yeah, let's turn on that radio. Day 8. I think I'm doing pretty good so far. She's not looking good, though. But I think I'm doing pretty good. 
We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help was on the way. We just need to wait for the for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not going to say it. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. He looks fine to me. Life is hard for us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Alright, I'll give him some I'll give him some drink, and then you two can eat. But that's it. Oh shit. Okay, maybe let's just keep him. Let's just keep him healthy for right now. We plan to go to Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall of our very own in our shelter. Right now it seems like that half a dozen pipe burst and all that water is pouring right into our bunker. We need to save our supplies. Yeah, save the radio. Don't want that breaking. Day nine. Oh, he's still not. He's been gone for like a week now. The radio was rescued first before any of the filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it's done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Dolores will not last long without water. Alright. Which one's Dolores? Um, that's it. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? There's only one way to find out. I can't. I don't have a flashlight. Shit. Could have been death and destruction, though, so... Hey, he's back! Ooh, didn't look good. Um... Yeah, can I help him? She's thirsty and tired. He's good. He's sick, also. How can I help him with that? Yeah, he, he, he made it back, though, so... Some things are better left untouched and unknown. Whatever is behind that door will have to stay there. We also stacked some furniture against it just to be sure nothing and no one can come through. Ted is safely returned from his voyage to the surface. A few days before the blast, Timmy got into a fight with a kid named Ethan and beat him with a stick. We were supposed to visit Ethan's parents and talk about the incident, but we were a bit busy back then. Well, now we have all the time in the world, and although it looked like our friends weren't home, we still decided to pay them a visit. We were invited, after all. These people were obsessed with tomato soup. <laughs> we saw many cans in their ruined kitchen. Most of them were damaged and all the tomato goodness had leaked out. But some survived, so we got two plus soup. That's amazing. That'll last us, like, a couple days. <laughs> Behind the remains of their kitchen counter, we found some bottled water. It's not our favorite brand, but it'll have to do. Hey, that's nice. Their living room was quite spacious and nicely decorated. There's not much left of it now, but we managed to salvage a checkerboard from the rubble. We often found, we even found some checker pieces. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted is hungry, sick, and tired, so we should probably worry about him. Yeah, give him some food and water. Give everybody a drink of water. And you can eat. I'm not really worried about her. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated, obliterated everything in our little town. However, our phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Um. No. No, I'm not going to risk it. All right, let's see if Dad's doing better. Yeah, he seems to be doing better. Oh, she she looks like shit. <laughs> Everybody kind of looks like shit, though. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took quite a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for us all. Mary Jane went nuts. Went nuts. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores sanity is questionable Ted's stomach is rumbling and Ted is recovered from a sickness though so that's good um let's make no no 
Was he still hungry? And she's probably hungry. And you can drink, and you can drink. Alright, cool. And we should play. It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Well, we're not sending him, obviously. Dolores says she's fine, so she might be weird. She will die for sure, and Timmy can probably make it. But, yeah, we need to, we need to send somebody. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it really is happening? Um, well, we don't really have anybody besides Timmy who is in a good position to. We should play checkers. That might help her sanity a little bit. It was too dangerous to go out there within, without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Timmy seems okay as much as he can. Dolores isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Still! Alright, that's fine. Um, you can have some water and that's it. Some of us are keener to going out to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. Oh, uh, that's you, Timmy. You're up. You're up, boy. Day 13. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. This is my first time playing this. Uh, Mary Jane is still isn't completely sane. It fills us with worry, but there's not much we can do. Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what will happen if he doesn't come back. Dolores will not last long without water, and Ted's stomach is rumbling. All right, Ted, you can eat. Uh, the parents can eat. That's it. Eat and drink. I've heard being down here, living here, we need to make the best of it, or at least we might find ourselves in more trouble. Day 14. What the hell is she doing? You would think she would survive the longest without eating, though. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. Mary Jane is rested. Dolores is clearly giving in to the madness. We wish we could stop it. I hope she doesn't go crazy and kill everybody. Ted is not complaining today, or at least not very much. Um, nobody, nobody can eat. We're gonna save that. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yes, might be a pipe bomb, but... Oh god. Okay, we're all alive. Cool. What was it? Damn it. The gift was booby-trapped. There was nothing inside besides some junk, and as soon as we opened the suitcase, it exploded. Is anybody hurt? Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Mary Jane was injured. Dolores isn't doing very well. Well, her sanity isn't is very questionable. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, no, no, I'm not gonna waste it. Who needed to drink something? Was it you? Okay, well. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listened to some reasonable answers. So how about turning into the radio station and learning a thing or two about the Brave New World? Yes. It's safe, and we can learn about what's happening here. <laughs> okay. What day is this? Oh. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news. The fallout, fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Mary Jane quits fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Or Mary Jane keeps fainting. Dolores still isn't full control of her mind. We're not sure what monsters are inhabiting her, but we wish we could just it would just go away. Ted should drink something too and also, soon also. Alright, drink. Oh, shit. Nobody can drink. You should eat, though. That would help you. That'll help you guys a little bit. We really miss the life we had, the space, the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to the time before the damn bomb dropped. Well, we could probably leave now, so... They said it was cool if we leave. 
Oh, he's got a nice beard going on now. Okay. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Oh, shit. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Dolores is clearly giving in to the madness. Shit. Ted looks like he's got a foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right. Okay, nobody's... Everybody's doing pretty bad right now. So, uh-oh. Oh, uh, shit. Yes, we need to go. We need to get out of here. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army is on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlights ready to signal the aircraft. It's been flying over our area lately. This evening, if they see our light, we'll know where to look for us. But I don't have a fucking light. Shit, we need to go find one. Hopefully. Unless we're not already dead. Oh, shit, where'd she go? Did she leave? When Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she was sh just got furious. She stormed into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll, 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 we will regret this and that she'll be getting her water one way or another. Well, we literally had no water, so we are seriously terrified right now. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much flashlight batteries cost, especially in this economy? Dolores will not last long without water. Ted looks like he's got a foot in the grave. Oh, fuck. This might be the end of us. Uh. So yeah, send Dolores. Let's go. Oh, no, we died. Wait, what? Ted. Ted, Ted, Ted. What happened? Oh, no. We never expected a band of religious fanatics to cause any trouble. Who would? As it turned out, a cult turned our, sh our shelter into a temple. We tried to reason with them and strike a deal, but the only offer we got was to become human sacrifices to their deity. We considered it, politely declined, and set off to find a new home. Too many days without water took their toll. Ted died of dehydration. We spent 23 days in our shelter. Oh, man. Evicted by religious nuts. Ted died. That was it. What happened to... Dolores? I don't know. You were driven away. I guess she just went off into the into the wasteland. But Ted died, so... Uh, I think I did pretty good, though, for my first time. I'm definitely going to be playing this again. And if you guys want me to play it again, just tell me in the comments. And uh, But yeah, that was 60 seconds. It's on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description. But that was really fun, actually. It's It, it, it consumes you, kind of. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, if you liked it, subscribe and tell me. You know, give me suggestions suggestions for games and stuff like that, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.